Hello, this is Lisa Cole, President and Co-Founder of Acorn Internet Services, and today I will be showing you how to use Google's tools to remove unauthorized website pages built by Boutique.com. We have a variety of our clients who ended up having pages built by Boutique and being indexed by Google, and we do not want to leave those pages sitting on the server. So, this is how you delete pages that sit on another server. And we're going to be using um, the Dicky House as our example. Larry has kindly offered to let me use his information to show you how to do this. So this is Larry's website. And here it is. And this is what Larry's website looks like. And we're going to go to Google and we're going to identify if the Dickey House has boutique designed pages duplicating his site on their staging server. So you simply do this by typing um, the name of your inn and then add the word boutique at the end. B-U-U-T-E-E-Q. And you can see the results come up. What you are looking for is something that says sweet Dot boutique dot com. These are subdomains, and um, the Dickey House's subdomain is bhz3qkgo. Everybody has a different beginning. So what you want to do is highlight that and copy it with a control C. Then you want to move into the search box and type site colon, and then do a control V as in Victor to paste in that domain name. And this will bring back every single page that Boutique has built um, on their staging development server that ties back to your website. And right now, um, because there has been so much complaint, uh, they have gone in and they have made it so if you click on this, you see a blank page. If you view the source code by right-clicking and click View Page Source, you will see that they have added a head uh, a tag in the header up here in the head section that is basically telling the Google robots to not index this page. There's a variety of ways for um, anyone out there, any developer, to tell Google not to index something. Since this was done after the fact, these pages are still being indexed by Google and you can see that simply by hovering the little gray box here on the right and clicking the cached button. And you will see these pages. This is the boutique standard layout where they have taken the Dickey House information and put it on here. And you can see this on every single cached page that you see in your site colon. Site colon is simply a parameter that tells you every single site that, or every single page on any particular site. So this tells you that um, there's approximately 20 pages being indexed on the boutique server. All of them are cached. Again, you just hover the gray box and uh, the double gray arrows, it brings up a gray box and you can click cached. And again, you can see the pages that Google has cached and indexed um, on the boutique server that were not authorized by Larry at the Dickey House. So. Instead of leaving these sit here and waiting on Google to re-index them, I mean, we've waited um, a week and a half now and nothing's happening, and I hesitate to leave any of our clients sitting out there with all of these duplicate pages, so we are going to show you how to go request these pages be removed from the index completely. So before you can actually request that Google have these pages removed, you must sign into your Google account and Larry has given us access to his um, Google account so we can log in. So we'll go ahead and log into his account. And I'm now in his Google account. And you need to verify by clicking on my account up in the upper right hand corner. Over here on the left hit products. You have to have a Webmaster Tools account to be able to do this. So if you don't find that you have a Webmaster Tools account, have your webmaster install one onto your web or your blog for you so that you can do this. That or just ask them to do it. 
um, your webmaster can go ahead and request that these pages be removed through their webmaster tools account. It doesn't have to be yours. You just have to be logged in. Now I did stumble on um, uh, a, a number of pages you can request be removed. I was pushing 200 pages and um, Google came back and said you've exceeded your limit you'll have to try later. So um, just know that if one person is doing a whole bunch of these submissions you could run into a page limit situation. Okay once you're logged into your Google account as you can see we've got Lauren Stevens that's Larry from the Dickey House logged in up here. Go to Google and in the search box type in remove indexed pages from Google and that will get you to the starting point here so we'll we'll do removed index pages from Google and what you're looking for is this support.google.com answer right here remove a page or a site from Google search results so click on there and you can remove a page or a site from Google search results either on your own site or on another site from Google search results which is interesting um, because Boutique built these pages without your authorization, they are sitting on their site, not yours. So you have to click from another site. So click on another site. And then it comes up with remove content from someone else's site. And what you want to click on here is in the second box, what content do you want to remove? And you want to, re you want to request removal of an entire page. So go ahead and request a removal of an entire page. Now this is the interesting part. It says this tool is designed to remove content from Google's index only if the site owner has already removed the page from the web or blocked it from the search engines. That is what um, Boutique did. They went in and blocked these already existing pages so you are able to use this tool. If you find that your pages don't go to a blank screen, when you click on them, once you've found them with your site map search here, if you click on the link and you find it doesn't go to a white page, then you're not going to be able to um, use this tool to delete them. You'll have to contact Boutique and tell them that they have to um, set it up so that Google knows that they don't want this page indexed and then once it goes to a blank page the way that they've decided to do this, then you can make this request. So we're going to go back to the removal of a page and it's step one, go to the public URL removal tool. So click that and once you're in the tool because we are already logged in to um, Larry's Google account, you'll see a screen that comes up that says create a new removal request. So you click that and you go back to your site page where all of these things are listed and we have about 20 here for Larry that, that boutique index 20 whole pages that he didn't ask for and didn't authorize so we want to get rid of all of them so we're going to highlight this green line item right here and we are going to go back to our removal tool and we're going to drop it in and then Google will come back and say analyzing URL and this is the concern that I have. This is why I'm taking the time to see that our clients have this done. Because it says this page is live on the web and Google can access it. So even though Boutique set it up so that it's a blank page, Google still sees the cache. So what you need to do is you need to remove every single one of the pages showing up by requesting it through this Webmaster Tools feature that we are now in. So you click on cached version over here on the right and you, the easiest thing to do is just to look in your footer and what they want, what Google wants you to do is to show them if you want to remove the cache, tell Google how the page has changed. Type a word that no longer appears on the live page. Well, the live page is blank, so you just need to get a word off of the cached version. So instead of having to look up every single page, if you just simply go down to the footer and pull your name, just one, one word out of your name, we're going to use Dickie, and we're going to go back up and we are going to click on put in Dickey and then we're going to remove the cache version of this page and as soon as you do it you will see a yellow box up here that indicates that what you did is appropriate and it's pending and it will sit here pending until Google sees that that cache needs to be removed once the cache is removed it's going to take a few more days for Google to take it all the way out of the index 
So one page at a time off of your site, map the site colon right here, what you did for your search for to get all the pages, one at a time you're going to take and copy these with a control C. You're going to go in, create a new removal request. You're going to copy it in with a control V and you're going to hit continue. It's going to go back and get it and then you're going to type in your phrase that you know is on that page for them to remove it, which is Dicky, and you will remove the cache version of this page. And you want to do this for every single page that is indexed. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and then we will come back to the video. Okay, once you have gone through all of the listings one at a time, copying the green line, and make sure you go to every single page. There were two pages for the Dickey House. And we get here near the end, and we'll just do one more example. I have two left to go. See, there's the green line, and there's a difference that I want to show you between this green line and this green line. See, this one has a dot, dot, dot. You can't just block copy that over into your removal section. You have to have the full URL. Now these ones all had the full URL because there were no dot dot dot, so you can just highlight them. Control C to put it uh, into memory, copy it. Then you go to your Webmaster Tools request screen and create your new removal request. And you just Control V as in Victor to copy it and then it asks you again for a word on the cached version so they know to remove it and we were using Dickey so we're going to put Dickey in here and remove the cached version now we have one last page to do so we go back to the site now on this one you can't do a block copy it because there's dots in it there because that's not the real page link you physically have to click this one so if you have dots in the actual file name you have to click it to get the full page name so look up here at the top and you highlight it. That is the full page name. So control C and then go back to your webmaster tools and put that in with a control V and again you have to put your, your name on the page so that Google knows that the cached page is um, okay to remove and we will click removed cached version. Now Always watch your little yellow bar up here to make sure that it's working. If something is like a duplicate, like you, you do it twice, it'll say that it's duplicated. Or if, like um, in my case, you did so many, you run out of um, uh, the ability to put them in for the day, it might say you've exceeded your max for the day. So, once you've keyed in all of your pages, you should see that they are all listed here and they're all pending. And once Google goes through, and they um, convert pending, it'll, it'll go in and say removed. So you'll know that it has been removed as cache. But then it's going to take a couple more days for it to physically be removed from Google. So just know that this is a multi-day process, but it's better to control this in two or three days than to leave it sit for 30, 60, 90 or more days um, for Google to do it automatically. I just I don't think that that is a good idea for any innkeeper to leave all of this extra content out here that you didn't authorize for you know months on end waiting for Google to re-index every single one of these 19 pages. So that's how you um, request that pages be removed from another site. And um, should you have any questions, pass this video on to your webmaster. They will understand what you need to do to have your pages removed that you didn't authorize for, good, for Boutique to build you. All right, that's it for today. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.